from the monsters of the past comes a new generation dedicated to reversing the evil image of their forefathers. Under the leadership of none other than Count Dracula, known as Big D, three teenagers form the Dugurder group, named the Dracula. With special powers, they can transform into super mighty monsters and use their skills against all evildoers, especially the diabolical Dr. Dread and his renegade rascals Toad, Fly, Mummy Man, and Vampira, a group known as Ogre, the organization of generally rotten enterprises. It's right versus wrong, good over greed, niceness against naughtiness. That's the dedication of the terrific trio, Frankie, Howler, and Drac Jr., the Drac Pack. perpetrate the most infamous crime of my career. We'll make billions. Do you hear me? Billions. Billions. <laughs> hey, Dred, Frankie, look at this headline in today's paper. Dr. Dredd is a shrinker. I'll buy that. But why would Dr. Dredd shrink an empty freight train? Because it was easier to steal that way. But why would he steal an empty one? Watch it, Frankie! I'm delivering a battlegram from Big D! What happened to you? That Dr. Dredd stinker zapped me with his shrinker, that's what! The message is taped to my leg! Huh? I can't read this piece of confetti. We better contact Big D and see what's on his mind. It's us, sir. The, the Drag Pack. Uh, Big D, uh, sir, are you there? I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, it's Little D. Very funny. Dr. Dread does to me this, and you make with the jokes. Oh, I wasn't joking, sir. Gee, Uncle, we were just surprised that Dr. Dread got to you, too. Never mind me. He's shrinking and stealing those trains to use in some huge crime. Relax, Big D. The Drag Pack will stop Dr. Dread cold in his train tracks. And we'll find a way to return you to normal size again. Oh, boy, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, I'm glad Dr. Dredd isn't here. I'll make them go faster. Oh, <laughs> oh they're gonna crash. Oh, bad dude, bad dude. You little walk factory. We need more freight cars, and you almost wrecked the ones we have. I was only playing with them. They are not for playing. What are they for, Dr. Dredd? To haul gold. A long, long freight train full of stolen gold. Uh, but they're so small. That's the beauty of my criminal genius. By thinking small, I shall pull off the biggest crime in history. Come, we must steal more freight cars, and then we shall strike. <laughs> You know, Big D looked kind of cute. <laughs> Two inches tall. <laughs> it's no laughing matter, Howler. How are we going to find a Dr. Dredd? We're not. We're going to let Dr. Dredd find us. When he steals this train, he gets a crew with it. Ooh, good thinking, Dredd. 
Uh, where is the crew? You're looking at us. Okay, guys, let's border. One more train, and we'll have all the freight cars we need for our super crime. Can we shrink one short train just for me? Can we, boss? Huh? Can we? Stop that dribbling and stick with your driving. Hey, no, when the climate seems like I see two, mummy man. Take us down over that train, Toad. Hurry! I knew Dr. Dredd would fall for my trap. We're, we're about to be drunk. And think how easy it'll be to hide when you're only an inch tall. I'm thinking how easy it'll be to get stepped on. Ready, aim, shrink! Bring it up, Toad! Yes, Dr. Dredd. Dr. Dredd is falling for my plan, hook, line, and sinker. What do we do now? We out and grab him? No. We lie low until we find out what Dr. Dredd is up to. Now we have enough equipment for the most spectacular crime in history. What is the crime, boss? You'll find out when we get back to Dredd quarters. <laughs> Couple all the freight cars together, Toad, while we make final preparation. Yes, boss. Gladly, boy. And don't play with them! Oh, I wouldn't dream of playing with them, Dr. Dredd. Until after you leave the room. <laughs> now here's my plan. I'll try to sneak out and find out what Dr. Dredd is up to. You guys capture Toad, if he discovers you. Capture Toad? But he's a hundred times a bigger than we are. Yeah, but we got him outnumbered, Frankie. Oh. All Dr. Dredd thinks about is crime. But all work and no play makes Toad a dull boy. So, I'm gonna play. <laughs> Just what I've always wanted. A train set. <laughs> Whoa! Casey Jones' toad is gonna wreck this train! Uh, let's get off! Ah, we can't! It's going too fast! <laughs> no, of course, we have been a better than the better you say you like. No, you're right, Mummy Man. It will be bigger than all my other crimes rolled together. But to steal all the gold in Fort Knox, you must be jesting. So Dr. Dredd is going to rob Fort Knox. Now all I need to know is how. I'll hide in here and find out what his evil plan is. Now here is my evil plan. We remove the gold from the vaults through here and... Dredd! Ah! Uh, uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Gesundheit, the pencil sharpener. Well, hello, Jack. That's Drack, Dredd. My pack is here, and your Fort Knox caper is all washed up. Max says our Fort Knox caper is all washed up. <laughs> <laughs> in my creative crime capers for the last time, Brack. That's Drack, Dredd, and I've just begun to meddle. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Don't just stand there, you incompetent nincompoop! If I don't stop that train, I'm in big trouble. He's in big trouble. What about us? I think it's time.
time to take evasive action. He went into that hole in the wall. Curses, thou will never find him. Stand back, Daleks. This is a job for Vampyra. Vampyra, you are beautiful. I know. Hello, Drac, darling. Stay away from me, Vampyra. I hate to hit a lady spider, but... Now, cut it out. Stop it. You're not being very ladylike. I'll give you one more chance, Dr. Dredd. Turn me loose and call off this idiotic train caper, and I'll forget everything I've... <laughs> Toad, bad toad. Maybe not so bad, Toad. Look, he uncovered the rest of the draft pack. And that spells curtains for you, Dr. Dredd. All we have to do is drack whack and your goose is cooked. I hate to spoil your whack, Mac. That's drack, Dr. Dredd. Can't you get anything right? I think I know where we goofed. We didn't track whack while we had the chance. And now you'll never get the chance. Never. May I play with the trains now, boss? May I? May I? No, Toad. First, let's wait and let them see all the gold we bring back from Fort Knox. I don't like the way he said first. On to the most ingenious crime of my career. <laughs> Dr. Dredd must be slipping. He let us know exactly where to look for him when we get loose. I don't think he thinks that we're going to get loose. Stand by the front of the train, Toad. You can be the engineer. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing, Dr. Dredd? No, no! I don't want to be small. I don't want to be small. I don't want to be small. Bad little toad. Bad little toad. To be so repulsive big, you look cute now, Toady. And so will you, my dear. Oh, no! He's right. You are cute. We've got to get close enough to one another to drag whack. But how, Howler? I've got an idea. Now here's my plan. Oh, don't get impatient, mummy man. I'm coming. All aboard! What are you waiting for, Toad? On the Fort Knox? Yes, Dr. Dredd. All together now. Push! Push! Ha! My plan is working! Is, 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 is that good? Faster, Tom! Faster! Yes, Mister. I'll throttle up to full speed. Dr. Dredd's miniaturizer away from him and reverse it. Come on! Don't make so much noise, Tom. You're almost there. Let's go, Frankie. You're mad enough to do it. You bet I am. It's all out. 
ours. Uh, uh, correction, it's all yours, boss. Hey, the same as a good hey? How are we going to steal those huge gold ingots, mummy man? I'll reverse my micro miniaturizer and show you. <laughs> and return it to full size again. Don't just stand there, get the train loaded. I'll be famous the world over for this. I can hardly wait to see tomorrow's headline. You won't like tomorrow's headlines, Dr. Dredd, because we're putting an end to your contemptible crime career. Now, you're all here except Mummy Man. Where's Mummy Man? Oh, there you are, Mummy Man. It's a good thing we've had our drac whack, or you could have broken my back, Jack. Enough of this foolishness! Grab them! Speaking of grabbing... I hate to apprehend a woman, Vampira, but you asked for it. <laughs> Vampire, oh, oh, now cut that out. Of course. Now you got me mad. Gotcha. Oh, yeah? Never mind the drag pack, you nincompoops. Get my micro miniaturizer back. Uh oh. I think I'd better cut Mummy Man down to size. Sorry about that, Mummy Man. I'll switch the switch. You are outnumbered two to one, Howler. Yes. <laughs> oh, thanks, Drake. I needed that. It's a good thing for you that you're a lady, Vampira. <laughs> gotcha. Bad things come in little packages, fellas. Lock them in the cattle car. Us vampires don't reflect in mirrors, but I think I know how Dr. Dredd uses this ingenious invention on himself. There. It worked. Out of this cattle car! This is an insult to the greatest criminal mind in the world! You do have a great criminal mind, Dr. Dredd. And you should be rewarded for planning such a clever crime. Have some gold ingots. Thanks, Dredd. You're all hard. Has Dredd flipped his cape? Maybe that ray re-enlarged everything but his brain again. Relax, fellows. I know what I'm doing. Well, I'm glad one of us knows. <laughs> Fools! You'll be leaving a fortune here! We're not leaving, Dr. Dredd. We're just gonna call the police. And explain what we're doing here? I've got a better plan. With two engines, we can get out of here fast. Do you have your driver's license, Frankie? My, 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 my driver's license? Why? <laughs> because you're the engineer. Is, is this shrink necessary? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Come on, baby, make me small. Fair is fair, Dr. Dredd. I'll give you a chance to catch us. Let's go, Frankie! Trash! We're trapped! <laughs> I can explain everything. 
Dang! Dr. Dredd caught red-handed and red-faced in Fort Knox. <laughs> I must congratulate you, Dragpack. I love it, I love it. <laughs> and thanks for returning me to my normal size. I hope you have destroyed Dr. Dredd's evil invention. Oh, yes, sir. It's a, it's a, it's a destroyed, all right. Good, good. Well, actually, not so good, Big D. It fell off of the coffee table and shattered before we returned ourselves to full size. Yeah, but don't worry, sir. We'll get it together. Ah, kids today, they're always trying to get it together. Monsters of the past comes a new generation dedicated to reversing the evil image of their forefathers. Under the leadership of none other than Count Dracula, known as Big D, three teenagers form the Dupiter group, named the Dracula. With special powers, they can transform into super mighty monsters and use their skills against all evildoers, especially the diabolical Dr. Dread and his renegade rascals, Toad, Fly, Mummy Man, and Vampira, a group known as Ogre, the organization of generally rotten enterprises. It's right versus wrong, good over free, niceness against naughtiness. That's the dedication of the terrific trio, Frankie, Howler, and Drax Jr., the Drag Pack. After taking care of dastardly Dr. Dredd on his last creepy caper, I figured we need this vacation. Oh, oh yeah! And it looks like you ordered beautiful weather, too. And let's not spoil it by thinking about uh, Dr. Dredd. Well, believe me, we won't have to think about Dr. Dredd, and I'm sure he's not thinking about us. Oh, yes, I am. And wouldn't you like to know what I'm thinking? vacation spot. Okay, Pack, it's relax time. You mean splash time. I'll race you to the lake. Last one in is a bucket of bolts. The first one in is in for a cool reception and a hard landing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Frank. That's what I call boy. That's what I c c call uh, ice water. I don't believe it. The lake is frozen stiff. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. No, not quite. This is the weirdest thing you've ever seen. A summer snowstorm? Summer or not, I'm freezing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Another first for the all-time most despicable, dastardly villain in the world. Uh, and very modest besides, Dr. Dredd. My masterpiece, the Dr. Dredd Dreadful Weather Machine. The secret lies within this ancient brewing vessel. It cooks up a tiny storm, and with my computerized solid-state system, I have amplified the proverbial tempest in a teapot. I'll rain on everybody's parade! Oh, Dr. Dredd, the whole world will be singing about you. Really? Magnificent me? Yes. Oh, fiendish Dr. Dredd. How could you be so mean for to invent such a terrible machine? Tornado smash, hurricanes lash, and lightning hits the scene. There is no place on Earth that's safe. 
from Dr. Dredd's machine. <laughs> How poetic. Not bad, Toad. Not bad at all. Good Toad. Good Toad. Hey, that look at that that red that thing. Pull yourself together, Mommy, and stop growling. We have work to do. Work, work Dr. Dr. Dredd? Yes, we must remove the threat of Drag Pat's interference before my newest, most evil, world-shaking plan can be realized. Okay, Pack, let's tell Big D about this freaky phenomenon. It's communication time. I hope he's awake. Uh oh. Big D, uh, wake up! Wake up! Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? Instead of retiring, maybe I should have hibernated. Well, well, speak up, you young noodle noggins. We don't know for sure, but we think Dr. Dredd is fooling with the weather, Big D. He's not fooling. He means it. Brrr. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Hey, looks like Dread Pack time. And step on it. Oh boy, this place is as cold as a tomb. Oh, kids today. Oh. How are we gonna find Dr. Dredd in this blizzard? I have a feeling he'll find us. He's up to something. There's a pesky pad falling into my trap. Quick, the snow scoop, my man. <laughs> Is that rumble in the motor? It's a giant snowball headed this way! Time for a track whack pack! Whack -a -whack -a Okay, Frankie, hold it till I check that weirdo clown with my bat radar. No other periscope fly. Yes, Dr. Dredd. Just as I suspected, Frankie, the dredgeable is in that clown. Yeah, but where do I put this? Lay it on that crazy clown. Okay. Good shot, Frankie. Is this part of your spectacular plan, Dr. Dredd? Of course. Now my next move. Uh, certainly, Dr. Dredd. And I'm sure you'll think of something brilliant. I already have! Retreat! That's brilliant! Cowardly, clever, your rottenness. Oh, we! Look! They're leaving! And so are we! Come on! First, I'll whip up a vast heat storm. This will melt us out of this snow. Brilliant, Dr. Dredd! A real hot idea! <laughs> Now float ahead, full speed. I suppose the dread will try to lure us into one of his a trap. Well, it's a chance we'll have to take. Ha! Ah, they're following us. I'll soon take care of them. Another trap, Dr. Trent? Oh, good. I had traps. What kind of trap? This kind, huh? What trap? Keep your shot and you'll see. But the drag pack won't. <laughs> Don't get too close, Frankie. We don't want Dredd to see us. Oh, uh, I don't think we have to worry about that, Drac. He must have seen us already. He's using the ogre phony fog bank. Ha! I should have known. Well, I think I can see through that little caper. Well, I can't see anything. As a bat, I can find my way in the dark. I'll fly ahead and you follow. All right, Pack. Turn on the bat tracer and stay close. Them in my mixed up murky mist. Well, that takes care of the drag pack. Deliciously diabolical, Dr. Dredd. Yes, now to the business at hand. Set a course for dread quarters. Toad, take a letter. Uh, let's see. How about X or a Y, maybe? No, oh, you mini mind mutton head. I want to dictate a threatening letter. Oh, goody. Those are the best kind. Uh, I'm ready, sir. Who is the letter to? To who? To the world! Oh, my, that's a lot. I don't think I have enough stamps for that. Just one letter, you sniveling scribe. I'm thinking. 
announcing the incredible Dr. Dredd's weather service, which will provide the nastiest, most miserable weather the world has ever seen, unless I am given the respect you may. What eighteen years? Brilliant, beastly, and basically bad. And furthermore, <laughs> see what you clumsy cocoon. Trap that. That's impossible. So that's the game, is it? A seeing eye bat. Uh, what are you going to try now, Dr. Dredd? Huh? 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 My machine will take care of the drag pack. Let's see. I got it. We'll put a little ice on the wing. Hey, what's going on? That dreadful Dr. Dread is icing my wings. Come on aboard. Sure. Whatever Dread is up to, he sure doesn't want us to find out about it. Hear me? You look a bit under the weather, young man. Frostbite leaves me kind of cold, Dread. Dot, dot, don't be so testy. You're the first to feel the chilling effects of my weather machine. With it, I'll be the only one who can do anything about the weather. I plan to dust storm all outdoor gatherings. Anyway, if ice are in Hurricane every lake and pond. Flash flood the countryside. Quick freeze all the water supply. Tornado toss every field and pond. Even now, I have broken off a giant arctic iceberg, motorized it, and sent it churning toward New York Harbor to deal it a crunching blow. All due to my technological amplified tempest in a teapot. You're a monster, Dredd, but we'll stop you. Uh, you'll have to find me first. Ta-ta! We'll find you, Dredd. We'll search everywhere. We'll never give up. A uh, drag? We'll search to the ends of the earth. We'll... A uh, drag? Uh, what? Forget the Academy Award performance. Look down there! That's it. That's Dread's iceberg. Are you sure? Have I ever been wrong? Well, frankly, I... Uh, you know. Never mind. I'll just send that order for ice back. Take her down, Frankie. Zounds! Drax landing on the decoy iceberg! He fell for my trap! I knew he would! We've looked everywhere! And no secret entrance! Keep looking! It's gotta be here somewhere! Yes, my faithful friends! Watch this! A little heat wave will put the pack in hot water! I'm certain that he's up to some sneaky, underhanded trick! I think you mean underfooted, huh? I don't know about you guys, but I got a sinking feeling. There's a tropical island up ahead. Come on, let's make for it. Yeah, that'll be a breeze. Then give us one, Howard, please. Gotcha. <gasps> 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 We're going ashore. Hey, look, just what I need. Oh, I'm as thirsty as an alligator in the desert. A coconut. Hey. It looks more like a dreadnought. So, you escaped from my decoy iceberg, didn't you? Yes, and as soon as we find the real one, we'll stop you cold. That giant iceberg is just the beginning of my truly stupendous plans for the weather machine. And that's Drac. What plans? I'm surprised that you're Drac. You know I never discuss plans except in secret meetings. Oh, boy. Another dumb meeting. Did I say dumb? This is double dumb. When he said I'll meet you at my pad, I didn't think he meant Willy Pad. Greetings, Clack. That's Drac. Whatever. Allow me to enlighten you about my latest brilliant evil scheme. Oh, I can hardly wait for Dr. Drake's signal. This is my big chance to show him how valuable I am. You mean you intend to blackmail the world? Or you'll fog in airports, cripple cities with blizzards, and... And, and sell farmers rain by the core. Exactly. In one hour, my monstrous iceberg will destroy New York Harbor. And then on to bigger and even nastier things. I... I don't believe it. 
Perhaps a little demonstration will convince you. Toad, it's time for a tiny tornado. Oh, yes, Dr. Trent. Monster! Get me out of this, you warm covered wretch! Oh, yes, yes. Right away, Dr. Ted. That's better. Now to get back. Oh, no! Yeah! I saw I get my hands on that hop along casual. You mean we only have one hour to find the weather machine? That's right. Otherwise, that giant iceberg will hit New York like a glacier and let... First, we get off this island. Say, uh, Drac, maybe this island is a hollow and the weather machine is underground. Frankie, that is absolutely ridiculous! <laughs> yes! Uh, where are we? Well, Frankie, it's perfectly obvious. The island is hollow and we're in an underground tunnel. I'll bet the weather machine is hidden down there. Wrong track. But we do have some other surprises. Right, Ogre? Yes, Dr. Hatch on those men. After them. <laughs> All right, let's split up. It'll speed up the search. Good idea, Drac. We'll just go down this uh, dark and uh, scary tunnel and... Uh, come on, Frankie. Don't, don't be scared. I'm, I'm, I'm right behind. But Drax said... Huh. I don't know why I'm tiptoeing. This place is totally deserted. Oh, no. <laughs> Mummy man. <laughs> That's what I call just squishing by. That big bag of rags is probably still trying to figure out what happened. But I'm not. V Vampira. Exactly. And Vampire is not afraid of mice. In fact, I'm very fond of rodents like you. Uh oh. The old cat and mouse game. And not a mouse hole in sight. <laughs> now I'm a horse of a different color. I mean, dog. You know what I mean. It's no use, you phony feline. I've got you. Corner. Pretty clever, Vampira. But not quite clever enough. You have to get up pretty early in the morning. Outsmart me. I wonder if the weather machine is in there. Oh, it's so dark. I wonder if the weather machine is in here. They'll never recognize the world when my weather machine gets through mixing it up. Uh, where should I put the Atlantic Desert, Dr. Dredd? Over the Atlantic Ocean, numbskull. Where else? Executive thinking. Oh, what fun! This will be the Sahara Ocean and the Hawaiian ice cap. Uh, how about the Death Valley Canal? I will handle the world warping, you web footed weirdo. You just tend to. Oh, the drag sand. That's packed. Whatever. Just in time. I'm naming this spot in your honor the Drag Pack Tar Pit. Very fitting, since as crime fighters, you three really are the pits. Even now, my giant iceberg is here in New York, and I must fly there to enjoy its imminent destruction. And since I have no further need for this island, or you either for that matter, I shall destroy it with a tidal wave. Ta-ta, gentlemen! Oh, a tidal wave. Can I stay and watch? <laughs> what am I saying? Let me out of here. Hmm. We seem to have a problem. I'll say we do. Yeah, the tidal wave. I don't care about the tidal wave. My nose itches and I can't scratch it. <laughs> that feels good. All right, let's get moving before Dread puts the freeze on New York. There she is, my 
my little frosty toy about to give New York a very icy reception. And we are just in time to see it flatten Staten and Manhattan. Goody, how poetic. Oh, I almost wish the track had me here to witness my moment of triumph. Yo! Nothing can stop that monstrosity. New York is a done for. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't be too sure. We can do it if... How beautiful. An iceberg in Brooklyn. Huh? Oh, no. Not him again. Ugh. How crude. Making faces. Dr. Dredd. Look, it's revolting. Not now, you animated amphibian. I will not be disturbed in this glorious moment. Well, all right for you, Dr. Dredd. I'll just handle this myself. Dr. Dredd is going to be so proud of me. Uh, stand still, you troublemaker. This will shock him. Uh-oh. Toad, what have you done? Oh, bad Toad, bad Toad. Wait till I get my hands on you, you brainless <laughs> mouth. I can explain, Dr. Dredd. Great. Sneak. On the double pack. Come on. We've got to get that weather machine. Now, destroy this diabolical... Uh oh Look! Everybody hide! Crank up my iceberg, will you? They're gone. There. Wait old old rain in the face tries to use his weather machine now. I got a feeling Dredd's in for some stormy weather. We'll soon find out. Oh, I've got you, you double-crossing creep! Your mother has web feet! See, Dr. Dredd? See? The track pack. They made faces at me, just like I told you. So that's it, the meddling grand pack, is it? Well, we'll just see how they like a taste of some heavy weather. My magnificent machine, what went wrong? It's an inside job, Dr. Dredd. Or hadn't you noticed? Someday I'll get you for this drag. Some sunny day, please, Dr. Dredd. Bad, 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 bad. 